Good day and welcome. What's up, Kazoo? I'm going to go for a ride. Eh? Hey, I'm going to put my cat in the hat. Now you see him? Now you don't. All right. Uh, okay, so. Uh, <laughs> poor helmet's all dusty. I kept it safely stored all winter on top of the protection bag. <laughs> yeah, okay, so what's today's video about? Well, I got, I got a little, couple of little things for you. Uh, all right, so maybe you guys can see this. The best tool that anybody with a motorcycle, I mean, even if you don't have a motorcycle, this is a very useful tool. Back it up here. You gotta get yourself one of these. You have to, have to, have to. It's the, an absolute must, and don't worry about me so much. I know you can't see my pretty, pretty face as much, so I just want you to see this tool. Now, it doesn't matter what brand you get, I ended up with Mastercraft. These things went up, they used to be about 10 or 15 bucks, it was, this one was like 45. But what it is, is an impact driver, and it just, you can get them in uh, several different size. There's one half to three eighths, so you've got a little bit of an adapter on here and stuff like that. Uh, what happens is, you get basically a, a threaded bolt that's stuck, or a screw, or a you know, some, maybe a, a nut, it's completely seized onto your motorcycle and you can't do anything about it. It's like you, everything you try, you strip it, whatever. This thing, what it allows you to do, it's a very simple tool. It's spring loaded and you got, you can see, that's how we look at that. There's one drive, you got a socket thing, you pull that off, a big honking thing like that. So this thing, you can see it spring loaded let's have a good look at it there okay and you got this the stop card what you do is uh you know let's put the this is the socket you put it on like so okay let's pretend you got your your fitting whatever it is you put it on and then you twist it and when you twist it you twist it really tight like that okay and then you smack the top with a hammer and it'll kind of like eh, like spring give you an extra snap on it so you just smack it don't be afraid to hit it. You're not going to break it. Um, you can get these in various different sizes. And you can use sockets with them, but don't use your, you know, $200 Ghidorah socket set because uh, I can guarantee you this will kill your sockets. So the, the sockets you don't care about, you could take out because it will split the socket. Now you get a couple of, uh, you can see like you got uh, these types you got some Phillips here, you got some uh, Stanleys, no Robertsons, but you got Stanleys, any, Stanleys anyway. You got Stanleys. Um, you put them in here, like so. Now, something I used to do, oh, that's a nice tight fit. Uh, you'll go through these bits like crazy, too. Uh, they're no harder steel than uh, any of the others. So, what you, uh, what you do, let's say you got a, a bolt and you busted the head off of it, and it's just whatever, you know, like you can't do anything. What you can do is make like a little bit of a groove, take your slot, put it in, tw twist it, smack it, and it works good. You can get different, like I say, you can get different sizes of these, but you should at least have one. Uh, sometimes these things can be a bit bulky and you can't get into it, so you can get smaller ones, and you can get bigger ones as well. But an impact driver is just something that is so, so useful. Uh, comes with little instructions and stuff like that. I'm going to put that back on so you can see it got another. Whoop, sorry. And yeah, it goes in like that. It's all new and tight. After a couple of smacks, it'll loosen up a bit on you. But yeah, you just basically push it in and twist it. And you keep the pressure on it. Because if you let up on the pressure, you, you, don't have the, you won't get the full impact. So take your time. Wear gloves. Why? Because when you miss this, you hit your thumb. <laughs> I am speaking from experience here. So in, twist it as hard as you can in the direction you want it to, to break loose and smack it. So you, you use the other hand and, and whatever. So that's how those things work. Uh, I don't have anything. Fortunately, I don't have any excuse to use it right now because usually by the time you have to resort to this thing, you've already done a pile of cursing. There, there, there's no doubt about that. Uh, but anyway, uh, here's the instructions. I've used these. 
I used to work in a motorcycle shop years ago, and trust me, I've used these quite a bit. And you can smack it either way to loosen or uh, you don't really tighten with it, but it's the equivalent of using an uh, impact gun, but you have more feel and control over it. And instead of the double hammers and the impact gun breaking it loose, this does the same job, but I find this is almost, you could have rusted bolts, uh, it, you know, broken, the head's broken off them, and you can get it out with this. You know, again, you make your little groove, you use the, the, the uh, Stanley, and away you go. Bob's your uncle, you know what I mean? If you have an Uncle Bob. Great tool, worth double to triple its weight in gold. I swear to God, this is the tool that will have to be a main staple of your uh, motorcycle kit. You have to have one of these uh, because there will come a time when, uh, for example, let's say um, you're using the, uh, and you get other bits for these two. Uh, usually what I'd say is use the B kit and then, you know, like your, the, the sockets and stuff that you don't like or whatever, because you're going to wreck them. You're going to wreck them. You, you know, like these, this is really get you out of a pinch kind of stuff. But let's say you got to change brake calipers, okay? And the bolts are fine, but almost every brake caliper in the world, the, 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 the bolts have Loctite on it. It might be the blue Loctite, not the red, but that's, this is about the only tool that'll break that Loctite. I, I, kid, I kid you not. And you start with this on something like that because what will happen is if you try just using your regular uh, Allen key on it, you'll end up stripping out the bolt and then you got a real problem because uh, then you're going to have to find a way to get one of these to grab and that type of thing and it's, you, you know, it gets you into a lot of trouble. But this, if you know there's already Loctite on it, you go to this right, right away, put it on, twist it, smack it and yeah, amazing tool. We'll have another closer look at it. I know I'm moving things around really fast here, and you guys can't see it. You can see how heavy duty this one's pretty heavy duty. I don't think I've ever owned one this heavy duty. So, I've had ones that are like you know cheaper, made out of cast or whatever. There's just basically a spring on the inside, and it just it's all spring loaded, right? And you can twist it this way, this way, but you have to bring it right in when you you know right that it's solid, and then you turn a bit, you know, in the direction uh, just before you hit it, so it'll spring to that side or to the other side. But make sure you got it pushed all the way in. Sometimes it can be hard because the object you're pushing against has no give. Put it up, put your object up against something solid so that it can, you know, I don't want to do it on the table, but like, like that there. So there, there's good. I know if I hold that and smack that, there's a bit of pressure. You'll have to, you know, use your muscles a bit. But that type of thing, if it's moving at all, the energy is going to go wherever, you know, it, it can come out. So you, if it, the tighter everything is, the, if the object's not moving, the better this thing works. That type of thing. So I've used them. I've probably stripped down. I don't know how many motorcycle engines uh, over the years. Uh, or when I used to work at the bike shop, 300 motors a year. <laughs> I don't know how many I did. Uh, the tool, that tool, at some point you will need it at some point. Uh, brake calipers, anything with Loctite on it, that'll break the seal. That type of thing. Uh, amazing, amazing tool. Hopefully you never have to use it. But this is, when you have to use one of these, there's just nothing else. The impact gun will just uh, usually break things. Now, a lot of times you get away with an impact gun to do stuff. But this, because the impact gun puts the torsion this way. This, you, you get to smack it, loosen the threads, and then then it turns. So it kind of does a, one of these instead of just a... Uh, so sometimes where the impact gun will just strip things out, this thing will... You'd be surprised what you can save with this, even nuts and bolts, whatever. Uh, also, too, on older motorcycles or whatever, with uh, sometimes you get a bit of a fusion between metals, and you just can't take them out and that type of thing. So, doesn't matter what brand it is, you must get yourself an impact driver. It's just you have to have one. You have to have to have one. So anyway, I just thought I'd show you that again. Uh, no demonstration, or whatever, but it's it's just a tool that, especially a lot of people that. Uh, like even experienced motorcycle riders and stuff like that, that do work on their own bikes from time to time. Uh, they usually know about these things, but the newer riders, they usually don't know about this tool. They know about wrenches and stuff like that, but they don't know about this tool, and this tool is so valuable. All right, so anyway, if you like this kind of content, please consider making a donation channel. Links down below. Thank you so much to everybody who has. Next time, rate, subscribe, share, comment, like, be true to yourself, be true to others. Always, always do the right thing, and have yourselves a great day. Eh?